Hi, my name is Sophie and this is The Know. Members of the British Medical Association will be walking out for 72 hours this week. Keep watching to find out more. This is the third strike in the current pay dispute between the BMA union and the government after talks failed in May. During the talks, the union called for a 35% pay increase, arguing it makes up for 15 years of below inflation rises. However, the government is only offered 5%. Officials have warned the strikes will impact hospital services, with Dr. Richard Robinson, Chief Medical Officer at Mid-Yorkshire Hospital's NHS Trust, saying, losing such a significant part of our workforce, up to 50%, means we will have to do things differently. In April, it was estimated around 50,000 appointments per day were disrupted during a four-day strike by junior doctors, with the recent strikes expected to make a similar impact on the NHS. Chair of BMA, Phil Banfield, spoke to the press outside the Royal Sussex Hospital about the strikes saying it doesn't seem unreasonable at all to ask for £19 an hour instead of £14 an hour. The value of their pay has gone down. We've got junior doctors now qualifying and being paid just £14 an hour, and yet they have up to £100,000 worth of, of debt. And we're asking the government to recognise that drop in value and therefore to restore the value of their pay and it doesn't seem unreasonable at all to ask for £19 an hour instead of £14 an hour for the expertise that they bring and the cover that they bring to emergencies within a hospital. Dr Vivek Trivedi and Dr Robert Lawrenson, co-chairman of the British Medical Association's Junior Doctors Committee, also released a statement saying, Junior doctors are in despair at this government's refusal to listen. It should never have taken two whole rounds of strike action to even put a number on the table. And for that number to be a 5% pay offer in a year of double-digit inflation itself another pay cut, beggars belief. We have made clear that junior doctors are looking for the full restoration of our pay, which has seen a 26% cut. Junior doctors in England have seen their pay cut in real terms by more than a quarter over the last 15 years. Today they are demonstrating what that means to the survival of the NHS. Thank you for watching The Know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.